Hey, Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Dash, Barakatum. Okay, that's the Father and the Son's name in the Palo Hebrew and the Lashawan Kodash, right, the ancient tongue, the Hebrew. Okay, I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are out there putting in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say, Shalom. Okay. Hey, today's lesson, we're just going to go into how powerful the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are. Okay. Because these, we're talking about names that is dreadful among the heathen. All right. That is dreadful even among uh, 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 these wicked spirits. Okay, they know that name, all right. Everybody, all right, on, on, that that is in the uh, the uh, fourth dimension knows those names, whether they be angels, demons, you know, spirits. Hell, even the animals know the names, man. You know, there are spiritual, you know, uh, essences out there. You know, uh, the only people that don't know the you know the true names of the heavenly Father are two thirds of our people, all right, and. The heathens for real, but the even the elites, you know, the people that are in rulership of this wicked world, they know the names, man. All right. We're starting off with Ecclesiastes 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name and the elect. Why? Because the elect know the name. All right. The Lord gave his name and his secrets unto his prophets. OK, and we can bring that out real quick, man. All right. Amos 3 and 7, sure the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but he will reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So a secret is knowing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because that's not given unto everybody. The Lord has to open your spiritual uh, uh, eyes to be able to see that, to be able to recognize it as being the true names. Okay. Psalms 124 and 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And that's where our hope comes from. All right, we don't put our trust in a gun. We don't put our trust in a society. All right, we don't put our trust in money. All right, we don't put our trust in nobody else or nothing else but the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, well, we feel through faith that those names is going to uh, uh, carry us and protect us and provide for us when things go bad and when things go south. All right, when things ain't looking the brightest. All right, we call upon those names and have faith and pray and, and we believe that he's going to deliver us. Okay, that's where our hope resides in. All right, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Acts 4.12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So do you got people out there that are say, oh, the name don't matter. It's just a name. You can call him whatever you like. He knows where your heart is. That's bullshit. Because right here it says there is none other name under heaven given among men. All right, that's you giving, that's like somebody uh, 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 calling you by another name that you were born with. All right, you say you're born and your name is Timmy, and somebody just call you whatever, and, you ex and they expect you to respond? No. So is a Timmy, some regular uh, uh, Joe Smo in the world, name is more impactful than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? No. So then we have to call him by his respectful name, okay? Not whatever you feel like. Okay, God, the Most High, Lord, those are just titles. Now, his actual name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the Pale of Hebrew. Okay, not no Yahweh, not no Yahuwah, not no Yeshua. Okay, not no Jesus. Okay, not no Jehovah. Okay, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And there you have it. All right, calling upon those names and being in that spirit, being in that faith, the Lord's going to preserve you, man. He's going to look out for you. He's going to protect you. All right, because the righteous are the ones that are going to run into that name, that are going to use that name and call upon that name. All right, when when they're at distress, when times are hard and they need, and they need to be saved and they need to be helped. All right, they're going to resort to calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Proverbs 30 and 4, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fists, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, I right, we can tell. 
All right, we know it's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, why? Because resorting back to Amos 3 and 7, the Lord will reveal nothing but his secrets unto the prophets. All right, so that's how we know we can tell that those are the true names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, you can't say that the Lord didn't reveal his name out here, then how will we be saved? How, what are we to call on to be delivered? All right, Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. All right, there you have it. And that, 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 that uh, third part all right, is, is the elect all right, that's being put through that fire. So it could be uh, 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 rid of their wickedness and their sins and to repent and to come back into the true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. And that's not saying all oh, any old heathen can call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like now. With that name comes, uh, you got to have some type of belief, some type of faith, some type of works with it. All right? Because remember, the scriptures say, all that call upon, uh, all that say my name, Lord, 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 will not be saved. Will not make it into the kingdom. All right? Roughly paraphrasing. So you can't have some regular Edomite just come up and copy, you know, what you're saying. Oh, but you know, he, say, he, he starts seeing you do it, and then he just does it, and he's going to be saved. Nah, that's not how that shit works, man. All right? Hebrews 6.10, for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right, toward his name. We, all, we do all this work, and we give all this praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? We ain't nothing, man, and we ain't nothing without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but we everything with him. Okay? Second Ezra 2 and 47. So he answered and said to me, It is a son of Yahweh whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. Stood so stiffly. All right. Because you got people out here trying to tell us it's not the true name. You got people out here trying to convince us otherwise. Trying to tell us that that's not right and we'll get his actual name in the kingdom and all this uxer uh, blasphemy doctrines out there and all this bullshit. All right. And we're going to see when that day come who those men were that stood so stiffly for the names. All right. And we know it to be Yahweh Bashim, which means in the name of in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is savior for his people. All right. The only begotten. All right. So if you don't have those names, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, hey, you're fucked, man. All right, you're in for a rude awakening coming in the coming days here over in Babylon. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakokwadash, Barakadum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say, Shalom.